So we're back in 2020, October to be exact. The man had been in the dike for a walk. He's coming back, he's using public transport and he gets to the bus stop up the road here and starts changing from his boots, his walking boots into uh, some more suitable footwear. I'm assuming it might have been a bit sludgy. 10 to 5 in the evening and he's walking this way. Listen to that wind. Kind of makes you wonder if he were being followed, if he'd been watched all the way walking through here. Wasn't quite dark. And uh, we'll get to that entrance shortly. We'll pick it up then. So he just walked out of here. There's the bus stop to Flamborough. And over the road is the bus stop back into Bridlington. And it's that one that he was going to catch. And we'll just uh, negotiate getting over the road now. So everything's normal. So he leaves the dike and walks over here. We'll just let this car pass. Comes to the bus stop. Once here he decides to change his footwear, like I've said previously. And then, something highly unusual happens. It's about 10 to 5 in the evening, and he's waiting for his bus. Here. And he's absolutely amazed when he looks towards the dike there. Because he claims that a huge dog came out. There's the old gatepost, and a huge dog came up from the dike. Its eyes were sparkling. Which doesn't sound right, does it? Sparkling eyes. It was just turning dark and I looked at the dog, its face. I kid you not, it looked half human, half dog. But the head of the bloody thing were bloody huge. And, and when it looked at me, the, the eyes were bloody sparkling on the thing. And I... So we're looking down into the dike now and we're imagining that it's come out of there. If this man's telling truth, can't collect all these stories and not attach some semblance of truth to them, can we? You know, we gain far too many. I'm gonna go down into the dike and see where, if this animal that this man saw came up, could have gone. So we're going back to October 2020. And um, he said he walked to the edge of the dike and looked down and he couldn't see it. So we're off down here. Main road's just up there. He didn't come down here, he just looked over the top. Well, there would have been a lot less foliage on trees in October. Not just because it's 2020, but when we look down there, you can see that there's a tunnel under road. I can only imagine if someone wanted to be discreet that it left via the tunnel under the road. Shall we have a look? Come on, dog. I'm still questioning what it is that people are seeing. Still asking myself, is it actually possible that they're seeing what they're claiming to have seen? Well, there's so many people kind of coming out of the woodwork and saying they've seen these things. Right, so if I don't fall on my backside here, I should be able to get down here and have a look. Okay, and there's the tunnel. Let's just get there. See, there's somebody's footprints, there's nothing unusual there. And there's Tunnel Under Road. So, I think you know what we're going to do. We're going to go through it. Aren't we, Bob? Come on, get going, move. He's not too clean. But here we go. Off we go, we'll go through this. Go on, Bob. push. And, er... Uh, I don't even know what camera's going to pick up, but it's uh, a bit dark and dingy. Imagine coming through here on a, on a late night with no light at all. You can get across road without actually being seen. My head's just hitting cobwebs. 
which ain't great. And we're going through here. Go on, Doc, get going. Almost out. So we're under the road at the other side of Dane's Dyke. Here we go. And we're out of it. To the other side. This would have been the side that he'd been walking. Obviously, he didn't come through the tunnel. But uh, I am still trying to establish whether these things actually are real. You know, you've so many people reporting them now. So many reports of the strange and kind of inexplicable around these areas. So like I said before, we have to attach some form of truth to it. But then I do realize that for many people, seeing is believing. And I can't blame you because it's so off the wall to what we should know and understand as being normal. Okay, we'll end it there. I've just climbed up. I turned the camera off because it's pretty steep. See the bobster. So we'll have a go. Get on, dog. There's a good lad. I'll be able to let him off his lead now. So this is the uh, dike where he'd been walking. Ancient place. Neolithic earthwork. And you can just feel the history. You can feel the uh, the past all around you. Knowing that people have lived and worked this land is just incredible and think of the things that people have done not just hundreds of years ago but thousands of years ago look at the work there there's a tunnel there you know it's uh, there's some massive amounts of work gone into these things it's all overhanging so Better not get too close. We'll let this little dog off in a moment. Okay, I'll end it there.